Y'all, this book, Getting to I Do by Dr. Pat Allen, is blowing my mind. And it has such an interesting definition of narcissism. And in order to share that definition with you, I need to show you the basis from which she gets there. She explains that in this modern world, everybody has both male and female within us. However, we can't bring both sides to a relationship. She says you have to choose because equality tends to be competitive. Nobody in an equal relationship wants to give up his or her rights. But in romance, only opposites attract. People who are similar will repel one another. So in order to be in a healthy relationship, we have to choose to either be the male role or the female role. If you choose to be the male role, you initiate and your thinking is respected. If you choose to be the female role, then your feelings are cherished. And here's the kicker. If you have chosen the male role, then you have to cherish the female role's feelings before your own. If you have chosen the female role, then you have to respect the male role's thinking before your own. She says, if you choose to be the female energy, respecting your man's thinking ahead of your own means that whether the ideas, desires, or opinions that he is sharing agree or disagree with yours, you must listen, revere, honor, esteem, and accept them or negotiate a change in such a way so that he feels respected. If you choose to be the male energy, cherishing your man or woman or whoever's feelings ahead of your own means that whether his feelings are positive or negative, you listen, accept, honor, and revere them, and then negotiate some form of joint behavioral change that will make him feel better. And this is so interesting. The male energy who is respected will feel cherished. The female energy who is cherished will feel respected. So her definition of narcissism is someone who wants both their thinking respected and their feelings cherished. And because they want both, then they don't put either the other person's feelings or their thinking before their own. So it's a male who is a male role who is demanding respect for their thinking but not cherishing the feelings of the other. Or a female role who is demanding that their feelings are cherished without respecting the thinking of the other. Here she says, narcissistic is trying to use logic and feelings equally, which ultimately neutralizes both and ends intimacy through competitive conflict. And she says, there's nothing wrong with healthy narcissism because it means that each of us has the right to be a total person with both male and female qualities. We each have the right to think and to feel. We each have a right to our own body. We have the right to be an individual separate from all others. So we have advanced to the place where we can be all by ourselves if we want to be. The problem is, how do we get together?